Hello there, and welcome to Super Overtime! Today we're playing my favorite game in all of existence. Ever since I was a kid, I loved this game. I traded it for Sequest for Super Nintendo, and I felt really sorry for that kid. Sequest wasn't that bad, we just weren't very good at it. It was a really hard game, and for like kids at that age, like, it was just, it was just cruel of me to do that to him, but... Plus, yeah. nobody really knew what Sequest was. I mean, I started watching it with Dad, and it's like... It's interesting. It's like Star Trek underwater, but we never really got too far into it. Yeah. No, the game, it was cool. You could choose different stuff, but uh, I felt so bad for him that later I gave him uh, Zelda for uh, for the first Nintendo that I'd beaten. Mm. Yeah, we know what we're doing. Oh, we're good. We're good. No, nope, we're fine. And it's still going to show you a little thing. Yeah. It's like, no, no, we got this. Okay. <laughs> Skip. You actually don't know what you're doing. Oh my gosh. So Spencer's first player. I'm gonna be P2 once he uh right, grabs a dude. Yeah, there I am right there. There you go. Yes. And we're in. Yeah, let's give me a power. Yeah, this this game was my favorite because of the co-op. It was so easy just to jump in, jump out. Yep. Which is like it's just unheard of. Like and they, they figured it out later on the Wii and stuff, but the game sucked by then, so whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, all the multiplayer games I think of playing, and I'm like, oh, they're, are they actually good? What's actually good? What am I going to play? What's fun with my friends? And it's like this old stuff every time. Yep. So annoying. And this one just encourages co-op, like, out the wazoo. Yeah. Oop. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's one of those games where you can really just take a hit, and it, like, doesn't really matter that much. Oh, oop. Share with me. Oh yeah, I got food second, so the I shared with you instead, which is. Fun. There's a lot of awesome combos and stuff you can do. Like any power up you have in this game, whoop, you can totally look at the menu and figure out a bunch of cool things to do. It's amazing. There's some power ups like stone that's pretty plain, but mm -hmm. yeah, so oh, many little so things weird. to it. Yeah, like is it if we done here? There you go. Yeah, like, for instance, the bomb, you can get one out and walk around with it and then hold it down to throw a better arc. Or get one out and run and then throw it for, like, a straight toss. It's such a good game. Ugh. Oh, man, first boss already. They made a sweet remake for Nintendo DS of this game, and it's, like, the only thing is is that the sound quality is a little worse because DS, but it's, it's cool updated graphics and stuff. You may think you have better dance moves than me. <laughs> but in reality, <laughs> you're correct. I am the lord of the dance. <laughs> no, no, okay. Oh my gosh, all these little cutscenes, they were so good. Uh -huh. oh, oh, you want it, huh? My, my, my man! Okay, you can have that. And then I'll give you this. Woo! Yeah! Yeah, it's sweet. Kirby can toss his power, and then the partner touches it. It's kind of overpowered, though, because the partner gets full health when you do that. It, it does kind of suck though that whoops that it, you're on a fish oh, that yeah. you have well that you have to rely on Kirby to swap your power up for you. Yes, yes, sort of. But it it would like oh yeah, it would. Uh... <laughs> I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Um, yeah, it, it would suck. I guess more in a four-player environment, but yeah, it's a uh, really sweet game. This is a very familiar bonus room. I think I've seen a room like that like in every Kirby game almost. Like, yeah. there's water and death coconuts. Yeah, it's funny. The only thing that, whoop, the thing that's most familiar to me in this game is kind of the progression of power-ups. It's like, this first, this first area, you like, first you get beam, and then you get cutter, and then you get bomb, and then you get fighter, and it's like, just a good time. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we've done this one so many times. Oh, yeah. Green Greens, uh, which this is actually kind of a remix of the very first Kirby game. Oh, not that anymore. I don't want this. I'll stick with Knuckle Joe. Let's do this thing, man. Oh, almost like it down to the invincibility frames. Ooh. Man, I am suffering. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> what? That, what? That's, that's called RNG, everybody. I'm gonna take one of these so I can slam them. Whoa. <laughs> hey, show yourselves! Oh, 
Nice. Yeah, that's... I mean, like, I wouldn't normally do that, but... He popped out right where I was with my last bit of health, and that was, uh, that was cheap. We still got four lives, though. We're good. Mm. Oh my goodness, this game. I wish somebody would mod it and make it four-player. I mean... That'd be insane. It would, it would be, like, sort of, but... I don't know. <laughs> make I don't it insane. I think I can only do the two player. Make personally. it insane. Just make the game insane. It's okay. It's all right. Make it a uh, four player and uh, make it widescreen. Maybe even zoom it out a little bit or something, a tiny bit. Ooh, food. All right, let's rip. This is uh, yeah, the, the cloud area. I forget. Was well, like bubbly clouds or whatever? But like, mm. what was it in the first game? Like grape garden or something. I don't know, something funky. Yeah, it's all all alliterations for a lot of the Kirby stuff. And I think one of the more common uh, things that they do is they, they'll title each world a certain letter, and then every world in a row, the first letter of each world will spell a word. Oh yeah, LNR is block. Just oh, like, yeah. like, this game is totally yeah. inspired Smash Brothers mechanics. This is like Smash Brothers Grandpa, mm -hmm. which is like, oh. It's one of the reasons why I prefer this one over three. Oh, for sure. Three has its own charms, though. Like, it's totally its own thing. Story art, art style and stuff. Oh, it's amazing. It's so good. Why was that so difficult to get? <laughs> yeah, it's funny how the Dreamlands went. It was like one and two were on Game Boy Color, and then it moved over to the main console. Something like this. So yeah, like Stone's powers is that's it, and then that dashing into somebody. That's all you got in this yep. game. In the new Kirby, they updated it so that he's got an, a rock uppercut, which is incredible. Right, what's this guy's name? He's he's got a name. Uh, Krako. Krako. Well, he's dead. Oh, <laughs> dead. Oh. <laughs> Krako. And they all, they all got such cool names. Blade Knight, I still can't figure out. Like, what's his face? I know, he's just he's really, really strange. I love that crap. It's so weird and awesome. Oh, yeah, here we go. Mount da da da. Oh, this is D3, triple D. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny, like, I always knew I loved King DDD. And, like, I look at him in these games and I'm like, how did I, like, begin to like him, like, that much in a game like this? He looks kind of funny, right? <laughs> And like, I play him in Smash Brothers 4 all the time. Like, he's definitely my main. That's all I got. Game of life. Yeah! <laughs> I was like, bye bye <laughs> I, my arms so, I love how you just hit him so hard, just toss him out of the castle. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. And thus begins our tale... ...and adventure. Into the land of dreams. Yeah, that's it. And we give back all the carrots to the dream people. Yeah, I know. Is oh, look, we beat the game already. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's uh, one of the many games included in this blissful pack of pink puffiness. All we, butt uh, size. It's nice. Oh, it's it's good, and it's and it's not it's not long either. Which I mean, as a kid, it's sort of a shame. But I think the split of all of the different games when I was young confused me enough where I was like, Hey, that was only eight hours! Or maybe it was like ten or twelve because you weren't that good at it yet, right? Oh yeah, they, def they definitely seem long because we, we looked this up and it's like nine hours to beat it if you're just just going through it normally. Yeah, and there, and there is secrets and stuff and things to collect that keep you coming back, but this is like one of the few early games where I felt the replay value, uh, like a lot. It's like Mario World, for me, I wasn't addicted to it in a huge way because you play that first world over and over again, sort of like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, but this you have like options. You can like choose which way you want to go a little more. And uh, some of the stuff was was like so was so mysterious to me in an attractive way. See, like now we got three th three ways to go. And like I remember in Mario World, there was there's crazy hidden stuff, but I couldn't really sense that it was there. So I didn't care. 
Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, oh, Mario World is amazing. I love all the exits. It's so cool. So, uh, what are you feeling? You think we should do... Uh, Shoot Gourmet Race. Yeah, let's get Gourmet let's, Race in here. Let's get that one out of the way. So, yeah, it kind of feels like that because it's... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you take care of that. Most people feel like, oh, it's stressful. No, it's not my first time. Get out of here. B-King DDD to the goal. Let's do it. There we go. Gotta collect all the food. Keep your blood whoop. Keep your blood pressure down. See, I'll I'll let him have those. I'll give him those and he can just like stay behind me. Whoa! Oh <laughs> yeah, that, see that's good. See, like you gotta not only collect food here, but then beat him at the end, and he is do got the, like nitro or something. Do the M tomatoes give you more? Uh maybe like two or something? See, I'm not like a supreme expert where I'm like, yeah, I knew that M tomato was there. Mm -hmm. Forgot about it. I gotta say though, my blood's pumping already. Mm -hmm. Like racing King DDD, you're like, man, am I gonna? You always beat him, but man, if I lose to him today, that would suck. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Psh. <laughs> Don't stop now. Who is this guy? Wow. Yeah. He really puts the pressure on. Slows down just enough for you. Oh my goodness, stick. Fighter every time. Oh, whoa. Sucking it in, that's a big slowdown. Oh. Kind of funny, they didn't have a, like, a, like a climb animation. No form. way! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a climbing animation, you're right. Oh my goodness. Now that would be a trip if you could have unlocked him in this game, but I would have definitely... Ooh, which one? Yeah, heard. Actually, Jet is better, but... I like bird power. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a really, really good, really good horizontal. Yeah. It's and it's like has like the coolest, some of the coolest moves as well. Like, I was interested. That was interesting that that dive bomb didn't like destroy that wall there. Yeah, jet is way easier to go up and down at this part. Mm -hmm. You gotta go with your favorites, man. I blasted into that water really quick. With the yeah, how did you know where you're going? Uh, I see those arrows, but I like I see them like just like at the like the last second. One of those few games that I like know it well, uh. well enough. I'm by no means a speedrunner. I definitely always take the inside lane on this one. I'm sure the outside has more food. But... Nice, I got the M tomato at the end. Sheesh. Demolished. <laughs> By a landslide. <laughs> Dude, get wrecked. Oh, poor little king of UD, he's so upset. He's oh, man. Like, mm -hmm. Hey, you did it under two minutes. Under two minutes, too. Actually, that's one thing I sort of want to see. Um, Even though I just beat it, like, the video for the end is so, is so, no, the video for this one is so dope. And it plays after a while if you let it. And it's like, I don't know, it's just like, each of these have a, has a little intro and everything to it. The first one does, too. Wait a minute. Was it called Gourmet Prix? Oh, uh, no. Grand, Grand Prix when you're choosing what game mode you want to do. Oh. But yeah, like, like stuff, like little things like this. Little touches like this. The way that they do the video, they cut the edges off and stuff. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> want to buy my apple? <laughs> I know. He's <laughs> like, he's like, oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, it's Whatever the race. scary, dude. Oh, I don't want to do this. Anyway, that's that's the end of this one. Yep. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you next time.